excellent. It's finally recording. After about 10,000 trillion years, it finally decides to respond. Which is always the fun thing of life. And that's how it goes. So, I suppose, ah, welcome. Welcome to the EEPROM 9. It's safer here. I wonder how many of you will guess what that's a reference to. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, latest stuff in the news. Hmm. If you watch my other videos, you got a preview of the latest acquisitions, including two absolutely awesome video cameras. One's currently sitting down there. Nineties cam. <laughs> And into reference to Mr. VX's 80s cam. <laughs> we have 90s cam. I suppose you could call this 2000s cam. Because it was actually from the year 2000 around that point. And it's actually built to a decent build quality. But then it is. You know, when you come down to thinking about the engine, it is based on 90s tech. And there's even some off-the-shelf chips in it. Certainly the display is a little worse for wear. Probably got dropped or something in its life, but if we power it up... When it decides to do it, you will see the display works quite beautifully. And, because it's a camera, expensive camera, or expensive for the time anyway, it seems to be pretty decent quality, but I don't have any of my DV tapes on me to test it properly currently. But if it does turn out to work, a treat, hmm, I think I actually have a use for this camcorder. The only trouble is I'll still be a little stuck with the problem of how to get the bloody tapes off because modern laptops don't have the eye link thing anymore which is an arse and good luck trying to get DV tapes to bloody sh go through a USB <laughs> not about some stupid ass software you don't want on your hard drive yes yeah, so I suppose I should do some more tear downs but one thing is lack of tear down and while I'm willing to remove this cover, I'm not willing to delve in any further because if you know anything about dismantling these, aka you've actually dismantled similar things in the past, you know that these things are probably actually worse than laptops because they have more screws than probably in the world combined. It is quite ridiculous. And also lots of weird mechanisms which... Oh. Yeah, if you can do a teardown on these, it's either going to be because it's broken and you want to fix it, or it's just broken and you want to gut it for parts. There really is nothing else to warrant taking a video camera apart. and having got hold of a few or even half dismantled ones I've been able to take a peek or two at them I mean even that massive great Vidicon tube one, some of you remember that, that you, that you all voted restore <laughs> whether I actually ever get round to restoring that or whether that becomes a victim of mum's bloody turning out I don't know, hopefully not Ah. But I don't even know where to start with it. Hmm, it's an interesting curiosity nonetheless. But it is kind of in a bad state. Should we pull up the 90s one? I don't know if it will reach the camera here. I suppose some of you might be wondering why I haven't uploaded for a while. Uni work. I had one assignment in on Tuesday, that was a group assignment, we're working our asses off of that. Um, 
got uh, another Cisco exam out the way. Uh, don't do that, computer. Got uh, some stuff. Uh, what was the other stuff? Several, because we've been given like online exams, some of which count to your final thing. Or one of them will account when we've done enough of them to about 20% of a grade, something like that. 20, I'm not exactly sure, I think it's about 10% because they're about 2.5% each, so four of them should lead to about 10 under my mathematical calculations. Which I know is correct because half of 5 is 2.5, not two of them together, you've got 5, and there's another 2, da 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 da. 10%. Off the ball mental maths. I can do some mental maths. But I cannot do it quickly. Uh, I need to go down Tesco's and get some food or one of the other supermarkets that's around this area. Doesn't matter which, I just normally go to Tesco's. I have the mandatory club card. Although what benefits it brings. It does you do get various things through like money off if you pay this much. Uh, I should bring them up here because that would be quite handy actually because I spend a lot of money in Tesco. Let's get 90's cam over so we can show it to you working and it's got one of those lovely CRT viewfinders I do so love. Right then. So the cable isn't really going to be long enough for what I want to do. So. Well, I'll just plug it into this old rat's nest of wiring. Seriously, if my mum saw my wiring configuration to my routers and switches, she probably wouldn't approve. No matter how much I told her, it was within the tolerance of the power system. But hey, that's just parents, isn't it? <laughs> they need not know the wiring system you've used. I will say it is quite insane. <laughs> But if we power the beastie on, oh look at that. Now I do not know how shitty webcam will focus on this. I will try to use it inbuilt focus to make it focus as well as possible. Also helps if I remove the lens cap. So now we can get it to focus on my face. I hope. Look at that. See it. There we go. Oh, this is not working well. See, the webcam's actually focused on it, but it's just white. I mean, trust me, there's a nice clear image coming out. Let's show you the size of these things, because I don't know how many of you have actually seen them. That's not actually the size, but it's going through a little lens. But, when we pull this off, that's the size of the tube, and as you can see, it's relaying an image, and the webcam is doing a good eye refresh rate on it. You can see, there's my hand, you can s can't make out stuff, but you can see it doing images. Very high quality, these displays. And just for size comparison, here we have the standard Great British two pence coin. That gives you a good comparison of size. The coin literally dwarfs this tiny CRT. I will be taking a look inside this viewfinder to see if it's the same type as my other Sony one, but I think it's a smaller variety. And this one won't have a shadow mask in it. Because shadow masks only exist in colour CRTs. There we go, and it's currently staring at my printer. It's got zoom, it's got all lovely works that these 90 chem 90s camcorders have. You should be able to see the lens mechanism moving in and out as I zoom in and out. Oh, I look funky in BW. <laughs> It amazes me just how good both these cameras are. The good news is, my dad's old video camera 
takes these old tapes well and uh, the old camera got dismantled long ago so the plan is use this with some form of capture system whether it be through the main downstairs television video recorder thingy combo get those tapes off and stored into a digital format don't throw away the original tapes, but it means that they can actually be viewed and it'd be kind of nice to pull off some of my actual childhood videos and put them into an archive that I can put up on the internet when I want to and whatnot. Because there are some funny moments I'd like to show you guys of things I did as a baby and whatnot. <laughs> the antics of a young Eprom. Like when mum's trying when well, no, I'm trying to grab mum's camera and <laughs> she just thinks I want to hug. No, I want to play with her camera. I do like cameras. It's quite ridiculous. I do have a collection of cameras. I have Polaroids. I have all the cameras I kept. Mm. But this, this is brilliant. This could actually be useful. That'll be useful for getting old data off. Ah, I think I'll pick up a capture card just for that. Ah, I'll keep an eye out, see if I can find a decent one, because I don't want some piece of shit that's just going to be, well, piece of shit. <laughs> that's no good. Actually, I'll just put the output into that into the telly. That'd be quite cool. If the microphone's alive, plug in both the sound and thing. But yeah, video cameras, especially oh, ones like these two, normally to a high stand. I wonder about a lot of the modern releases when you see one for like 157, it's like, yeah. You may be saying it's HD, but is it really better than the standard definition one that cost 300 plus? I doubt it. This one's even got a colour viewfinder. Even my little Sony Mini DV doesn't have a colour viewfinder. I'll admit the resolution of it is pretty poor, but... Only my dad's one had a colour viewfinder, and that was like ridiculously expensive, but colour viewfinder isn't all the rage, it's just one of those things. It's quite amusing on uh, Mr. Benway's talking where he mistook the LCD for the viewfinder. This is not a viewfinder. Modern video cameras don't even have a viewfinder, which is absolutely useless in sunlight and an absolute travesty for the battery. Whatever happened to the days of viewfinders on cameras? They seem to be phasing out. Sadly for parts, these don't offer nearly as many hackable components as something like this does. Let's just take this off. Pop the viewfinder out the way. These are gold mines. Full of all sorts of trinkets, bits, pieces, mechanical mechanisms fascinating lens mechanisms and of course the number one component for actual usefulness the display maybe I'll make a night vision headset that wouldn't be impossible, you could probably pick up some cheapy webcam and hack that hell hmm I wonder if there's a way to get the input yes, my other one has an idea one has spare viewfinders at home. Mm. That little camera. Have I shown you the this? I can't actually remember. This is sadly it came without the LCD display, but hey, for a scrap find that's just been thrown in the bin, you can't really complain. Sadly, the monitor wasn't included. After a pop to the lab, I got a composite thing hooked up. I've also left some batteries in here. It does work. Works a treat, actually. Yeah, 
It was so nice of such a device just to be chucked into this, a position that I just saw the box. I was like, oh, this is interesting. Probably empty. What do you know? I opened the box out of just sheer curiosity of chance and maybe there's something interesting in it. What do you know? There is! So, after all the perv jokes are over with such a device, because it's a steady camera from sticking in small tight places, although I wouldn't recommend, or you guarantee think people, you know what people are thinking, but yeah, after all that, that'll actually be quite handy for some more useful things, like nosing around inside my car engine to satisfy my curiosity of what is exactly under the battery where all the wires go. Imperial Destroyer. One of the many sorts of nerdy sorts of t-shirts I have. But yeah, so I do have a ton of videos on my main digital Panasonic which is sitting over there waiting to be pulled off and uploaded but until I can devote the time and effort to actually go forth and do it you won't be seeing those um, let's have a quick browse through and see what's on there because I've actually forgotten I did delete sort of like the thing off of me getting angry with the keyboard and throwing it around the room yeah my original Raspberry Pi keyboard died Ah, yes, to do with me my new network, because I've got my routers through, and connecting the Pi. A Half-Life joke. Uh, what looks to be some more rambling, there's the switches and routers, some more stuff to do with Raspberry Pi, and that's it. Ah, yes. I'm not going to give you a sneak preview, though. <laughs> right, uh, where to put it? I like this camera, it's cool. I like cameras. They're just fascinating devices, comprised of some of the absolute awesome engineering behind them, and they pretty much always, especially ones that don't use film, will always have that wonderful component inside known as the CCD. There's also a variant to the CCD known as the CMOS sensor, but they're just two technologies which basically do the same thing. I don't know the differences between the technologies, and I don't really care. This is a bit of a weird physical design. Also, I find it a bit of a pain that, well, they're never really tailored for your left eye because despite being right-handed, in fact, it's actually supposed to be people who are right-handed have a right dominant eye. My left eye is my dominant eye. I don't know if that's to do with the chemical spill that I got myself involved in when I was little or not. But... Yeah. I'm right handed, but I have left. It's funny actually, I'm right handed, but I do have some left handed quirks, like a left dominant eye, or I eat left handed with a knife and fork. I do have a few little things like that, but predominantly, I think I even solder left-handed, actually, because I think most right-handed people hold the soldering iron in the right hand. I'm the opposite. <laughs> I like to be able to have the feed and precision of the solder, and also I can support the board of a finger or two when the crocodile clip brace thing is going up. Oh, God, we're almost up to 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure how people find my ramble so enthrallingly exciting, but the funny thing is, I quite enjoy other people's rambles. I don't know, it's just when people sort of spew out what they 
on their mind at, their mo at that moment and I think sometimes they can proceed to be the most interesting videos because you never quite know what someone's going to come out with unless it's one of these mindless drones on Facebook who just post every time they have a wee or oh, I've just been to or I had bloody fish and chips for dinner and it's like really all the, them years before them social websites you wonder what people thought they come along and you know what people think about Jack shit there is really you do realize that them sorts of things are supposed to be like for arranging maybe an outing with your mates not for the daily blog of because day to day life why does it need to be recorded Unless something actually interesting and original happens, which could be all manner of things, is there really much point in mentioning it? It's like just going, oh, like, I had a poo. Well, everyone has a damn poo. There's nothing outstanding. It's not even necessarily relevant to interests like something like this which will find its way into some bizarre thing or something uh, Tesco's one is still need to do some more daylight stuff it's lacking that and then when the assignments are over I can uh, compile a proper review for it Techmoan style because well why the hell not <laughs> I haven't really thought of a use for this yet, but I'm thinking of it. I don't know. Uh, stick it to the car, have it like mounted to the wheel or something. It can get <laughs> what it looks like from the wheel's perspective, spinning round until you go for a puddle and it's finished. Thanks for blanking out, Mr. LCD. If we go here. Actually, is there anything interesting on the news? I haven't looked at the news. BBC News Home. What articles do we have? First pl police commissioner shown. Yes, there was voting going on on that. Israel to in intensify Gaza raids. Ah, dear. Children in need biggest ever. Oh, is that back on? I didn't even know that was back on again, but it does appear every year. Then it's just, God knows what that is. Probably something to do with football. Retailer com comic to close 30 stores. To be honest, I'm not surprised. I find the curries and comet are well... Quite frankly, the marketing people in there are just a pain. It's like someone comes along and all what they do is read the bloody plaque tune, it's like, for God's sake, so can read. Unless you can actually go away and research and actually tell me about the product or and not bloody go on about all this marketing crap and makeup crap because people like me will just call you out. Just for there, because we know, and we have some more interesting articles. Residents warned after acid leak. Crews fight fuel tankers blaze. Warnings over hidden hidden customer data. Great corporations are still being dicks then. Arrests are not child re related. Travis, that's probably some paedophile case then. Ash disease found at five NI sites. XPM Tony Blair's father dies. Although I don't like Tony Blair, I do put my condolences there. Because it's never nice losing a family member. Call to sector arts in curriculum. Uh, ah, is this to do with the education? Uh, not sure, it looks like it. Yeah, it is. Uh, the education system does re need refining. Being at uni has opened my mind to so much more than it you than I knew before.
really it's quite amazing how much it actually opens your mind to just how vast the world is around you and it is a community within itself also in the news molar bear I haven't heard of a molar bear animal undergoes dental work Sorkin reveals Steve Jobs movie plot Steve Jobs was going to make a film okay I suppose when people die of dirt, banks pay da 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 to settle charges da 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 mm. warning on answer actually interestingly that's uh, diseases oh, is there some sort of bloody disease going around then high tech school kit lying unused why does that not surprise me <laughs> The amount of useful stuff schools reside to the cupboards to where someone like me just comes along and tries to acquire it. Da, 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 da. Because teachers do not know, best know how to use it. Yes, that does not surprise me. That's the thing with work, I've noticed. Training consists of at uh, most you'll get someone like explain a few things to it then you want then you pretty much just figure it out as you go <laughs> at least there's some pretty amusing screw up but generally it doesn't get held against you because yeah you do make mistakes uh... british humanist loses richmond catholic school Right. What's this about then? I suppose it's not a bad thing with all the bad aura over Catholics and children. That it. Improving. Because, yeah, I will keep my kids away from Catholics, to be honest. There's just way too many bloody sex chart offences that go on in that circle. And, yeah, there will probably be people who do the thumbs down for that comment. But, well, to be frankly honest, that's the truth. And, well, the truth hurts sometimes. Well, if you're of that religion anyway. Uh, technology help wanted on porn privacy cases. Hackers attack reads Israel websites. Anonymous have done something lately. They, I think they hacked a bank, didn't they, or something. Uh, why rules aren't pick and mix that title does not really explain anything mind you most of these don't know more designed to kind of get your attention and bring you in I should really probably actually sit down and read some of these to actually see what's going on because I haven't looked at BBC News for quite a while so we'll leave that tab open because actually there'd be some interesting things but at this time I should probably think about going to bed because I want to get up tomorrow and just work on my assignment and have it done and have a bloody way because oh, it's horrible actually thinking what time does it need to be in on Monday because that's kind of important as long as the library's open that's all that really matters no that's the wrong site you can't see it well I can't as I go through the uni crap Log on to the uni website. Well, not the main website, but the little VLE thing they have. To do view your courses. When I click on it, I expect something to happen. And so we go. Da, 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 that's it. Um, I've done these practical quizzes and gotten it, and I actually do quite nicely in them. 
So it is, there we go. Assignment 1 needs to be Monday 19th, 1.45pm. So yeah, it pretty much needs to be in ad hoc. Hmm. The fun. Yeah, so pretty much finish it. To finish it off tomorrow. Gonna be a busy Saturday. So, any Saturday releases and videos, forget about it. I'll bugger, I didn't want to do that. Oh, fun. Um, that can have my full undedicated attention, and I'll get that together. It's amazing how quickly you can get this stuff together, but it's one that requires a lot of research as well, but I have got a few sites down. I just need to find a few little things, then I can do the pricing, because it's basically designing an optical link. It's mathematically proven. I've got all that out of the way. It's just pricing it. There's some research to do on other areas as well and whatnot. Facebook. There always seems to be something going on in here. All I use Facebook for is just see what Mr. VX's thingy does. His little page that he set up. I've got my own little page, but I don't actually bother maintaining it. Despite putting links to it in places, it's just like, yeah, No one really goes on it, so I can't be arsed with it. Uh, da, 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 go to Google Chrome. This is probably the point where I should kill the video, but I'm too bloody lazy to change the tab and hit stop recording. Five five time and oh, what has Tustum Bang done on his abandoned building exploration? Uh a bit dead on the abandoned building exploration in the last few months, but hey. One has commitments that they can't always put towards the comedy, but they've got a camera for their chest or something. And some video stuff. And if we go to what other interesting sites have we got on here? Home, that's probably one of my websites, isn't it? Probably all. Black Mesa, Half Life Modification. That's an excellent mod. It's a shame it's not so late. EV blog. Da, 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 da. Can you run it? Yes, that's very handy actually. Actually, I wanted to do a test on Dishonored, didn't I? To see if my laptop can run it, but my 360 is dying on me. Da, da, da. Oh, you stupid thing. This. Oh, type of the bloody eye. Da, 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 there we go. Can you run it? Begin detection. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this is a good little program, this is. Uh, the GameSpot website used to link directly to it, but for some weird reason they don't anymore. Which is just plain stupid, if you ask me. Sorry about that, but that really needed to be done. Oh dear. That's depressing. I'm just barely at the RAM. Jesus Christ, it needs a pretty beefy CPU, mind you. Uh, so it doesn't like the RAM, well, I'm not going out and buying some RAM, it doesn't like any of the hardware on my graphics card, so yeah, that won't run. Shame, because it looks like quite a good game. Mm. Ah, oh well, such is life. Upgrade suggested, yeah. Well, what the RAM I could do. Oh, CPU passes there. <laughs> that makes me laugh. Uh, makes me laugh how it fails on there. Da, 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 da. 
recommend to do a cold core better. I don't have a cold core, but I have that, which is an i3. Oh well, such is life. Uh, what's the other website? Da -da -da -da. To be honest, there isn't really a lot in the launch lineup that really interests me. I mean, pretty much all the first person shooters. Is, 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 well, I have to say, this has been the most disappointing generation of games. It's like, I was expecting so much more from it, and all what we got was bloody better graphics and nothing else improved. AI made a huge step back into the bloody 8 bit age where enemies are just damn right thick. First person shooters have become generic, modern, tedious, and boring. Not like on the PS2 with some absolutely wonderful first person shooters have been created on the PS2. And of course, the PC in the era of the PS2. With the exceptions of games like Portal 2. But then that's not really a first person shooter. Yeah, it's in the first person shooter perspective, but your only gun is a portal gun that you use to shoot portals. It's not actually a first person shooter. Oh, I was playing Half-Life 2 and it just reminded me of why modern first-person shooters just fail in comparison. Oh, go away, you stupid blob thing. Let's kill you. Actually, what's the process called? What's the name of it? What is its name? Oh, God, I don't know. It's just some stupid... Because then I can disable it in the startup settings. Veo Gate, okay, we want to go to uh, Windows, uh huh, MS Config, Startup, and find Veo Gate, and turn it off. There's an alphabetical order, no. Bastard! I can't see it! Aha! That's so annoying! Maybe it's in here. Blech. Pardon? Vio Care Performance Service? No, that's not what we're looking for. Yeah, some of this is actually rather important, like the power management. The power management on this laptop is actually really good. I can get four hours out of this machine just just doing like your sort of mundane office type stuff and web browsing. It looks like we finally have a program that has eluded me, for now. Mind you, I'm not exactly looking at this at my greatest, so we'll just go sod it. <laughs> I'm amazed it's not in that menu anywhere. What does it, is there anything in the startup folder? Which can lead to all sorts of... Using things that are programs on your desktop. That's what shortcut icons are for. This it seems to be the startup. Yay, startup! What have we got in there? Uh, just make a free and something to do with Bluetooth. Steam. Oh, I do like my games. Hammer. Ah, oh, yes, Hammer. Me liking Hammer. I like doing my level building. <laughs> All that lovely jazz of playing with all sorts of elements. Well, there's navigation nodes and whatnot. Brush entries, standard entries, point entries, that's what they call. Brush entries and all that lovely jazz. 
sort of rather complex, to be honest, but it is good fun. It's quite therapeutic, although I find configuring... I find configuring routers very much a zone out. It's just like you sort of zone out into the land of routers. Very methodic, very relaxing. I doubt there's many people who find configuring routers relaxing. Jesus, I wonder how many of you actually watch 40 minutes of this crap. But if you've made it to the end, actually quote what I've said there. Put in the comments. Don't actually make it obvious you're quoting me, but just put in the minutes. 40 minutes of crap. And then I shall know if you made it to the end or not. Thanks for watching. Is 40 minutes of crap.